Hello boys and girls, Three Ball Josh here again. <clears throat> and a couple of days ago I had posted a video about a stupid criminal who got his ass whooped by a bunch of little kids for trying to rob a karate academy. So I thought I would go ahead and share a personal experience that I have had with stupid criminals. Um, I went to school in Hawaii. I went to high school in Hawaii. Uh, Mililani High, go Trojans. And uh, I used to park my car in the back of the school because it was closer than the parking lot, and I was too cheap to pay the two dollars to pay, you know, to get the parking pass. So I always parked in the back and everything like that. And um, somebody broke into my car. Um, I discovered this after we were leaving. Uh, I was I stayed late for I think a drama class that was after school and stuff like that. And I headed out with myself and I think two or three other people with me, giving them a ride home or whatever. And as we're walking to the car, I noticed that the two passenger side doors were slightly ajar. And I get up to them, and, and I always double check, make sure everything was closed and locked and all that stuff. So I knew something was up. Walk up to it, and you could see there's like these little tiny dents where somebody used a crowbar or something like that, try to pry the doors open, and then you see these scratches and stuff like that. And so now I'm kind of worried, because technically this isn't my car, it's the family car. I, you know, in other words, my folks' car. So somebody broke into my folks' car while I was driving it. And sitting there trying to, f and I sat on the hood for a second, just kind of, you know, I didn't make any reaction or anything like that. And I was like, all right, everybody get in. So the four of us pile into the car, and I'm looking around, trying to figure out what the hell they stole. On the dashboard, I had about $2.50 in mixed change, give or take, and uh, that was all still there. In the back of, you know, this is a hatchback, by the way, a 1988 Nissan POS hatchback. So you can see everything that I had in the back of this grocery wagon. And uh, in the back, I had a couple really expensive boogie boards and a bag with my whole family's uh, snorkeling equipment. So I'm sitting there thinking, oh, shit. These really expensive boogie boards, because it's mine, my dad's, my brother's, and then my whole family's snorkeling equipment just got ripped off. I'm going to be in deep shit, right? So I tell my friends to look in the back and tell me what they see. And it's like, oh, uh, see a bag with, like, looks like some masks and fins and snorkels. Oh, thank God. And a few bogey boards. What the fuck did they break into my car for? This is a piece of shit car. So I'm looking around. I finally look in the center where the radio used to be. Now it's a hole with these cut wires sticking out of it and stuff like that. And then I just started laughing my ass off. I mean, my friends thought I had flipped. Because uh, here in my car just got broken into. They make off with my stereo. And now Josh is laughing. We should probably leave. So I took, you know, mind you, like I said, this is a 1988 Nissan Sentra. And this is in, and this was, this happened in, I'd say, late 98, early 99 time frame. And <clears throat> so... At this time, you know, CD players are pretty much the norm in cars. Well, somebody breaks into my 88 and steals the tape deck. I mean, this was a factory stereo. There wasn't anything brand new about this car at all, except for maybe the tank of gas. So they break, you know, they steal this piece of shit radio that I had in the car. Well, I had to explain this to them. And they still didn't think it was all that funny until I explained to them that a month prior... My dad was driving down the road, sipping some coffee or whatever, and I don't know what happened, but he ended up spilling coffee on the radio, and it shorted out. So they break into the car, still a crappy radio that doesn't even work. God, I love stupid people. Ah, I'm just going to go ahead and sign off here and enjoy my delicious bourbon. If I wasn't Three Ball Josh, I'd wish I was.